Hydrocephalus, also known as Asram Inakan, is the accumulation of excess cerebrospinal fluid, which is produced by tissues lining the ventricles of the brain. Health experts say that defects which occurs during pregnancy can be corrected through surgery. This is Christy Senape, a two-year-old girl suffering from hydrocephalus, popularly known as Asram by the Akans. According to Christie's mother, she gave birth to her daughter at home, and the next day, she realized that her skull was softening. She therefore took her to a hospital in the Volta region, after which she was transferred to the Kolebu Teaching Hospital for surgery. Four-month-old little Abwaje is also suffering from hydrocephalus. Due to his condition, Kwabna is unable to sleep at night and cries uncontrollably. He has also been transferred from the St. Dominic's Hospital in Akwetia to the Kolebu Teaching Hospital for surgical operation. Hydrocephalus is the buildup of fluid in the ventricles deep within the brain. It is caused by an imbalance in the amount of cerebrospinal fluid produced and how much is absorbed into the bloodstream. Although hydrocephalus can occur at any age, it is more common among infants and older infants. In most cases, hydrocephalus starts before a baby is born. It is caused by a birth defect in which the spinal column remains open, a genetic abnormality or certain infections that occur during pregnancy. The condition can also occur due to bleeding in the brain during or shortly after delivery and head trauma. Early signs of hydrocephalus in infants include vomiting, poor feeding, excessive sleepiness, among others. A senior medical officer at the Adabraka Polyclinic, Dr. Denis Borte, said adults are also at risk of the defect. The acquired ones can occur in adults. Somebody is normal, he didn't have hydrocephalus as a child, but then grew up, get some meningitis, which was treated or wasn't well treated, and as a result of the healing of the meninges of the brain, it could end up closing certain spaces so that the flow is impaired. Somebody can have um, hypertension that can lead to maybe strokes and or bleeding into the brain, right? hemorrhages into the brain can lead to the person getting um, um, hydrocephalus. He also highlighted some modes of prevention and cautioned pregnant women to seek proper medical care and attention. Every pregnant woman should still take their antenatal um, seriously and um, do your scans as um, regularly as possible. At least three scans during the pregnancy can detect anything wrong if possible. So either you psychologically prepare yourself for it or what, if there's anything that can be done, it will be done. Dr. Borte says hydrocephalus can cause permanent brain damage. However, it is necessary to recognize the symptoms early for immediate medical attention.